when corrupt cops get what they deserve. It's like watching a reality show where the tables turn on the bad guys. Just like this first corrupt bunch who got humiliated by a female auditor. Thank you. Appreciate it. I don't record just people. <laughs> this seems rude. What did you guys put that on TV? YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Yeah. You're making some easy money, Dan. <laughs> That's not really easy, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not cop block. I'm independent. Oh, okay. See ya. You too. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. This car followed me and took a picture of my license plate. I'm pretty sure it was this car. I can video anywhere here, and the guy told me to park right there. Okay, well, come here. Let me show you something. What? Just tell me what it is. I don't need to follow you. I read that, and the guy told me I could park okay. right there, and I can video anywhere here. Watch how this next officer gets shut up by this courageous auditor. This is how all of us must act, to have courage in the face of people who want to steal our rights. <laughs> No, this is public. This is public property, and the reason I came back here is because someone followed me and came and took a picture of my license plate when I left here. This is public property. I have a First Amendment right to video and photo. To video. Leave this property, ma'am. I, I have a First Amendment right to be here, like you I can walk in the lobby. Right to be out front. Someone told me I could. You need to quit. Why are you getting so close to me? Why are you? I'm backing up from you. Okay. I'm trying to get you to back up that way. Yeah. I can walk anywhere on here. No, it's a can. First Amendment right. Yeah, I can. And I parked here with permission. Someone told me to. Okay. When well, I didn't that pass that someone sign. Someone was wrong. It was an officer. Was it you who told me I could park there? One of the officers just told me to when I pulled over there because I didn't want to go past that sign. Go in the lobby and do it, and I can do it right here. And okay. I can take video you of can, you. You can do it out there. I can, can do, do it anywhere on this property. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. You need to walk that way. I, I, this is a First Amendment right here. No, it's not. You know, Your also... First Amendment right is out there. No, it's not. No, it's not. This is... That, that's a that's a request. That is That does not change my First Amendment right to video public property and walk on it. Now, if you don't want me parked there, I won't. But one of the officers told me to. Okay. Okay. I'll move it right there. You need to quit, man. Why are you getting all up on me? Where's your vehicle? Why? Yeah, I'll move my vehicle. But I'm going to video here all I want to. No, you're going to leave. Hey, this is the first minute, right? No. Arkansas Code 21 1 106. Look at that. That's Arkansas Code. Little Rock uh, Police, you have General Order 19 that says I can do this. But the most important thing is the First Amendment. You need to leave me alone. The First Amendment does not grant you the ability to go wherever you want. On public property. That's what this is, is public property. 
this area is restricted to authorized no, it's not. personnel. No, it's not. You can go out there. There you can is go in not. The front door. It is You're not. not this is public property. Okay. The officer begins realizing that maybe this is not someone he should be messing with, as she knows her rights. But this still doesn't make him quit. In fact, he gets even more controlling. Okay. You need to go that way. I'm going to walk around again. You already did. I'm going to do it again. No, you're not. You are screwing up, sir. Get your hands off of me. Don't walk where I told you not to. Arkansas Code and Little Rock General Order 19. Here, I got it in my pocket. Step back up on the curb, please. Tobler. 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 Step back up on the curb, please. Just stop it. Always want to give direct directives. Step, step back up on the curb, stop please. Stop it. You don't like being recorded? You're a public servant, aren't you? What is the difference? Public recording of police activity. Yeah. Yeah, you can record police activity. Yeah, First Amendment, I can't. Anywhere can on public property, look at Show the me. Arkansas Code. Show 21 one 106 Look at it. You got a copy of it? You said you got a copy of nope. it. Nope. This is the General Order 19, okay, and that's all you need because you have many policies already. No, I haven't. Yeah, you have. This is as far as you go. You need to go back up on the curb. You are not going to violate my First Amendment right. And this you you will First not Amendment have right. qualified immunity if you keep on. I'm telling you, it won't work in your favor in the long run. Ma'am. Sir. Step back, please. I'm going to walk around on this public property. That's what I'm going to do. I have a right to the do major? it. Yeah, get the major. After this, the corrupt cop stood there in front of her silently. That's how arrogant and dumb some of these officers are. Instead of doing their job correctly, they waste their time asking people. What's your name and badge number, sir? Quiller, 27107. Thank you. You're an arrogant, egotistical. Thank you. Right. I appreciate it. I'll just be a minute. Finally, the officer quits when his supervisor asks him to go back in and makes him realize that he messed up badly. If it weren't for the supervisor, the corrupt cop would have stood there the whole day. These kinds of officers need a special class where they are taught how to keep their egos in check while interacting with the public. If you think this interaction was crazy, watch this next case where corrupt Mexican officers are schooled when they mess with the wrong guy. On October 25th, 2019, another YouTuber named Gavin Syme posted a video of him confronting officers while he was out photographing in Tequisquia, Pan, Mexico. The cop's reaction to the entire situation is highly alarming. Most of the conversation was in Spanish, so we've added subtitles so you can tag along, clearly. Okay, bu buscar la bolsa. Por qué buscar la bolsa? Por qué buscar en la bolsa? Por qué buscar? Ah, mira, estamos haciendo un dispositivo de seguridad. Tenemos reportes de que se ha estado este, moviendo distribuidores de... Marihuana. Look, marijuana no es illegal in Mexico. Perdón. Marijuana no es illegal in Mexico. No, no. La Constitución dice no buscar las bolsas sin razón, ¿no? Bueno, según la Constitución nos permite hacer inspección a esa persona. No, 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 no. <laughs> nada. Pero déjame nada más. Déjeme terminar mi labor y ahorita lo atiendo. ¿Sale? Es el derecho, no buscar. Es su familia. Mira, no hay nada. No hay nada. No hay nada. No hay nada. No hay No es una molestia. Dígame si a los jóvenes les molesta. No, no. ¿Qué es la crema? A ver, no ¿Qué, entiendo. ¿Qué es la violación? No hay una violación. Bueno, well, entonces la constitución dice... La gente es seguro en las bolsas y la propiedad. No buscar es, es ilegal a buscar la propiedad sin justificación. ¿En qué justificación. dice eso, caballero? ¿Mare? ¿En qué lugar dice eso? 
No, la Constitución de México dice. Ok, ¿usted conoce el Código Nacional de Procedimientos Penales? ¿Mande? ¿Usted conoce el Código Nacional de Procedimientos Penales? Este no es en una investigación, <risa> esta es una violación con, sin razón. Usted tiene todo el derecho, ponga su denuncia en el lugar que usted le convenga. Le voy solo, a pedir de favor. Solo, por favor, no buscar la bolsa sin sí. razón, es Solam la ley. Solamente, permítame hacer mi labor, si usted interfiere es una falta administrativa no, y puede No, tú con la gente, Ajá. señor. Si sí. usted me interfiere no, no. en mi labor... ¿Entiendo la Constitución de México? ¿Entiendo la Constitución de México? Retírese, caballero, <risa> únicamente No así. entiendo todo. Si usted interfiere no, en mi más labor... Más despacio, por favor. Okay. ¿Habla inglés? No. Ah, si okay. usted interfiere en mi labor... No, no, no. Usted, solo observa por la... Escúcheme, por la seguridad de la gente. Sí. Escúcheme. Porque es mucho escúcheme, corrupción en México, ¿no? Escúcheme. Si usted interfiere con la labor... No, no estoy no preparado para, para arrestarlo no. únicamente. ¿Sí? No, ya basta. The officer has never had someone speak to him like that, but this is just the beginning because the officers keep defending their corruption until the very end. Por la seguridad de la gente, porque tú, tú no respetan la ley y la constitución de México. Okay, este es el problema. ¿Dónde es? ¿Dónde? ¿En qué parte de la Por favor, respeta las derechas de la gente. Aquí estoy Solo para eso. salvaguardar a las personas. Si usted interfiere en esa labor no, y ni no, siquiera, no, no, ni siquiera me da un argumento Simplemente no, legal. señor. Ok, retírese, caballero. Ok, buenas, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Si quieres. Retírese, caballero, por favor. Sí, pásale. Es tu derecha, es tu derecha. Adelante. Camílenle, muchachos, por favor. ¿Mande? ¿Su nombre? Soy el oficial Luis Rojo Almaraz, policía municipal del municipio de Tequisquiapan. ¿Y tu nombre? Ya se lo acabo de decir, caballero. No, tu nombre. ¿Y qué? Tu nombre. Soy el oficial oh. Luis Rojo. Almaraz. Luis Rojo, ok. Ah. <risa> ¿Algo más? Él? Pregúntale a él. ¿Qué, qué okay. es el nombre de él? Permítame una identificación, caballero. Le voy a pedir de favor que se identifique conmigo. Yo ya me identifiqué. Solicito. Permítame su identificación. ¿Eso es normal? Sí, no, es que siempre llegan aquí y se llevan a los chavos sin razones. Sí. Sin razones, razones normalmente. No más que porque estás vagando en la calle y ya te sube. Y vas a mirar mi video. No me gusta. <risa> Similar problema en la policía de Estados Unidos. Sin accountability. <laughs> this just shows us that police corruption is not a small problem. It's a deep and global issue that affects millions of lives. Coming back to the cops, they went away for a while, but it was far from over because now they wanted the auditor's ID. <laughs> ¿Qué es tu, ¿Dónde es tus datos? Aquí los tengo que tomar. Si usted está tomando una grabación, yo necesito sus datos para verificar el uso no. que se le va a llevar. Buenas tardes. So here's the deal. They're searching these kids' bags. They see this a lot with the young people. When they search the bags without legal authorization, and then if people try to hold them accountable, they start acting like they're interfering. Same kind of BS that we get in the USA, but... Uh, the Constitution is really clear on this. There were some kids standing around there and they understood it. And uh, the kids standing around understood it. They were kind of nodding like, yeah, they do this to us all the time. Because this is a school here. So people hang out here and the cops don't come down here. They search people's bags illegally. And the key is just to start holding them accountable. They're a lot less aggressive here. If you just tell them no, you just, you just kind of got to stand up to them. And uh, you just got to stand your ground. But ultimately, uh, more people need to be filming, just holding them accountable, just having conversations about this, and that'll make all the difference. Señor, no moleste me, por favor. Pásale. Yo no molesto tú, solo preguntas para ti. Eso es ridiculoso. Ok, este motivo por el cual no porta el... Este placa delantera. El problema es la policía en Texas roba la placa, señor. Le robaron la placa. Tu, tu policías robaron las placas. Mis policías robaron su placa. Sí, totalmente. Mot uh, ¿Dónde fue esto? Aquí, en Querétaro. ¿Ya levantaron Siempre. denuncia? ¿Mare? ¿Ya levantaron una denuncia? Señor, ¿quieres molestarme? Necesito hablar inglés. No, no hablo inglés. No es mi problema. Tú me Yo necesito saber por qué no porta una placa. Según el reglamento de tránsito marca que no puede con una placa. Gracias. 
The corrupt cop cannot let it go. He keeps coming back and harassing the poor guy, but eventually, he realizes that he is barking up the wrong tree. See, he's trying to mess with They steal the plates in town, too. And if somebody's without a plate, they harass them after, you know, they stole the plate, right? So. <laughs> Buenas noches. <laughs> There's more of a politeness, right? So if they're going to be nice, I'll be nice. I just don't like them. What I don't like seeing here. And the reason, I was just walking out doing street photography tonight. But the main reason is... It's, it's frustrating. I keep seeing them search the kids' bags and stuff. And uh, the young people around here especially, because you see it more there with the young people, the teenagers. There's this idea that, oh, you're young, you have no rights, right? You just have to do as you're told. It's really important. Es muy importante por la, la chicos y las chicas y la gente de México entiendo la derecha. La policía no tienen un derecha a... a for violations de la Constitución, de la derechos de la gente. Y necesito, necesito grabar video, necesito habla, necesito hacer más accountabilidad por las policías en, en lo mundo, todo. We've seen corrupt deputies, but have you ever seen a police chief being investigated for murder? James Chamberlain. Okay. Uh, I, did you used to be a police officer somewhere? Or, I recognized you, but I wasn't 100% sure where I knew you from. But somebody said that you used to be a police officer in Gateway or something like that. Okay. Um, I a constable. And you were a constable here too. For Benton County? Yeah. For Benton County, okay. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Uh, well, How long did you do that? Oh. Uh, Two years. Well, I was elected one, one term, two different terms, but not okay. together. Not together. So two on two separate occasions. Okay. Um, you understand this. You've been through this before. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna read it to you. Um, anytime we bring somebody into the sheriff's office, we read this before we start talking to people. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's just your statement of rights for us. And before we ask any questions, it's my duty to advise you of your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Um, you have the right to consult an attorney before making any statements or answering any questions, and you may have him or her present with you during questioning. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Um, you may have an attorney appointed to you by the court to represent you if you cannot afford one or otherwise obtain one at no cost. Do you understand that? Yes. Um, if you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer, you still have the right to stop answering questions at any time or stop uh, questioning for the purposes of consulting a lawyer. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. However, you may waive your right to account. Sorry, you may waive your right to advice and counsel, and your right to remain silent. You may answer questions or make statements without consulting a lawyer if you so desire. You understand that? Yes. Detective James Chamberlain had just finished reading Harden his rights, but as you'll soon discover, it was all just a facade. Trust me, the level of hypocrisy from this detective is truly mind-boggling. Here's the thing. I want to talk to you about what what you've done today. Okay. Um, can you just take me through when you woke up this morning to when you got stopped by the police out there in, in uh, what's the name of that road you're on? I'm sorry, I'm going to drop again. Ridge? I'm not going to say anything after I've been read those rights yet. Okay. Why, why don't you want to talk to me about your day? I don't know what's going on. I am kind of sickly <laughs> to, uh, to what I'm here for and things. Okay. So you don't want to explain what you've done today? Did you? Um, is there a reason behind that? You read me my rights, and I don't know why. What was the first thing said? I have the right to remain silent. Okay. So you're telling me that you don't want to talk to me right now? I, I'm going to remain silent. After this, the detectives went out and talked to their boss about what to do about the situation, and the solution they came up with says a lot about their competence. Okay, I talked to my boss, maybe, I think I was confused, or I may have confused you on what's going on here. Um, I can't tell you exactly why you're here, and you being a police officer, you, you understand that. Um, I need to rule you out as a suspect in a crime that's been committed, and that's why we got you here, because we need to talk to you, find out where you're at. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so I, I, I don't know if I scared you at the beginning or, or what, but that's why I was trying to, and I can't, you see you see the position that I'm in, I can't tell you why you're here, but at the same time, I, I need to, I need to rule you out into something. Does that, does that make sense? I mean, or would you be willing to talk to me about your day, knowing that I need to rule you out of something? Yes, I... 
I would have liked to, but before yeah the rights were read. So okay, not knowing what's going on. Yeah, yeah, and you understand as a detective, we have we read those rights to everybody who comes in here. It's not just you, but when we interview, you know, kids and it's everybody. Once you come into our facility, we, we that's something we have to do. It's not something. Um, it's not just something we're doing for you. It, it happens to everybody that walks through this room and talks to us. Because, I mean, you know, it's just like anything else that we do. We have to, we have to cover all of our bases. And that's what we did by, by reading you those rights. So we need to know, I mean, does that make sense? I, got, I, don't, I know you've been a police officer for a while now, so you've got, you understand you know, how, how, how everything works. And so I've got to rule you out as a suspect. And if I can't, you know, if I can't do that, then we're at a standstill. Does that make sense? Today? I have to remain silent. Okay. On that. Okay. Or so you're telling. Right. Okay. So you're telling me that you did do something today that was that was wrong. Then. <laughs> is that? What, I mean, is that what I'm getting at? I mean. I'm just. If, silent. Okay. So you're. You just don't want to talk to me because well, of what I reason? I don't understand what. No. Uh, they snatched me up out there and didn't, nobody told me anything. I don't understand. Okay. What? Why I couldn't be told some? What's going on? And and. Uh, okay. So did you? I guess my question is this: knowing what I just told you, I guess if it was me and I was, you know, if I was in your position, I'd be like, hey, James, I did this. I was at or Grant, I did this. I was at, you know, here, 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 and here, and I would just be done with it, and that way you can get out of here but at this point like i can't clear you from this because you could still be, potentially be a suspect just look at the detective's lack of integrity he is violating that man's rights as if it's something he does on a daily basis he also implied that by exercising his rights harden is admitting to doing something wrong astonishingly people like these are allowed to be in office i just have okay. to, once the once the rights have been read i have to uh, it says I have the right to be silent. Yes. Okay. I, I don't know. I don't even know what to, to say at this point. You realize that I'm trying to help you out here. I'm trying to get you out of here quicker. And you're just sitting here. Well, am I free to go then? No, you're not free to go. Why? Because I've got, I've got to get to the bottom of an investigation. A very serious criminal matter. Okay. Okay. And right now you're a potential suspect in that. Whenever an officer or detective says they are trying to help you out, just know that you are in deep trouble, just as Harden was. Does that make sense? I, I don't understand why I'm a suspect, no. Well, that's for me to know and for you to tell me why you're not a suspect. This is your time to kind of help us help you. Okay. Tell me this. Uh, I, I, wait, I do it just, apologize on the front no. end. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not I'm mad out. at you. I, I'm okay. going to exercise my right to be silent. Okay. So is, just tell me this. I know you were a police officer before, right? You're, you're a police officer in, in Gravit, I mean not Gravit, but in Gateway? It's an easy yes or no. I, I'm being silent. Well, I can see that. I was looking for a detective. You want me to get up for you? Well, I just, I'm ready, I need to go. You need to go where? Home, or get ready for work in a little bit. Okay, we'll just have a seat and I'll get, I'll get it for right. you. Okay. Okay? All right, thank you. No problem. You need anything else? No, I just, I hate being, I hate uh, not being able to talk, but I, after, Usually after they read my rights, well, or you know, after you read, after they read me my rights, I just feel like I need to be silent. What do you mean? Well, just that's they. Why? How come nobody asked me anything or told me anything before we got here or anything? Not necessarily you. You've been real good to me. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I was just taking you up here. You know what I'm okay. saying? I mean, they asked me to bring you up here, so. Um, the detective is the one that has all that information. Oh. Hey, Brian. Yes, sir. The other officer told me, you want to talk to me again? What's going on? I'm just ready to go. Okay. And I'm not, I'm not ready for you to go yet, so you're not going to be able to go. I've got other things that I'm doing right now, so. Okay. Did you need to talk to me, or did you, like, what was the deal? 
Well, I, I just went up. I was going to go. Oh, okay. you're not going to go. Tell you that. Okay. Yeah, no, you're not going to go. But I'm going to. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. The detective was just using a subtle tactic to get Harden to talk by leaving him alone for a while. Keep in mind that all of this was after he had clearly mentioned multiple times that he did not want to speak. After seeing that this tactic didn't work, they tried a different approach. I'm trying to think of how to, to word this delicately. I'm not trying to get you in any trouble. I'm not trying to get her in any trouble, okay? You've got a little daughter, 16, who needs her parents. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know what was said at dinner time. I know. I know everything. Okay. I need your side of the story. Okay. I don't know if you've had a problem with this guy for a while, or and this was an accident, or you maliciously chased him down, or or what happened. But if I don't get your side of the story, I won't ever know. Okay. You know. I know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. I wouldn't be talking to them right now. I, I want to give you the opportunity to tell me what led up to what happened today. And if I came across as being rude or upset or whatever earlier, I'm sorry. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just, you're, you're fine. I'm just trying to gather facts. Sure what happens or what's okay. going on. Okay. But uh, I just have to invoke my, my right. So you're telling me that you don't you don't want to give me your side of the story. That's what you're telling me. That I've got to I've got to I've got to put together what your wife has told what me I'm and saying, what the crime scenes told me. I mean what I'm saying is I have the right to remain silent. That's true, you do. I'm not saying I don't want to tell you anything or anything or help you guys or anything. I'm okay. just saying right I um you told me I had the right to remain silent. That's true, I do. Do you realize that you're looking at some very, very serious charges here? No, I okay. didn't know that. Okay, well you are. I can tell you that much. Okay. And if it was an accident, it was an accident. And that's all it was. But if you intentionally went out to hurt somebody, that's a whole nother story. It's a whole nother story, okay? I'll let you think about it. I'm, I'll give you one more chance here in a few minutes, and I'm not, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. I'm, I'm telling you that. Well, what happened? What's, you know what happened. I'm not going to sit here and play games with you. I'm not. I, I know. I know. You know. We have witnesses that put you there. The two cars that drove by. Look, man, I'm not... I, I just want to know why it happened. From this moment on, the detective completely ignored Harden. However, their disregard for his rights did not stop there. Next up, they tried to get a female detective to talk to him and try to open him up. Do you have anything good for breakfast? I need some frosted flakes. Hey, that is by far my favorite cereal. I don't know. No, I just it's gotta fuck my belly again, I think. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Hey, I love frosted flakes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> my kids will gripe at me because they think it's too healthy, but I love frosted flakes. Mm -hmm. What else did you do today? Anything fun? Anything? Any any chores around the house done? No? Just kind of lazy? Lazy day for you? Yeah, just watch some TV? No household, no household chores? Your wife didn't make you do anything today? Not today. Well, I made her pills up today. Well, at least you got a day off from household chores, so that's nice. Yeah. Did you just prep for getting ready for work tonight? Uh, just pretty much. Just yeah. lay around be a slob there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get anything done outside today? It was so nice today. It was beautiful outside. Yeah, I know. It was like 80 degrees yeah. or more. It was amazing what, outside. What's the deal? I don't know. It's messing with my allergies today, though. Mine, too. That's... When you were outside today, did you notice anything different or weird going on? Or hear anything that was abnormal? No. While you were outside laying in the sea and stuff like that? No. no? Everything's soon. Did you run into anybody? Anybody stop by, say hi, nothing? No? Okay. All right. I'm surprised. Did you see anybody on the road? Anything like that? It would be so nice, I didn't know if maybe anybody was out and about. Did you see any of your neighbors? Where are you getting at? 
No, I'm serious. I'm just asking. I'm just oh, a small no, talk. Not that no one. No. Okay. I just said no. Oh, my allergies are killing me right now. It's insane that they kept forcing him to talk, violating his right to remain silent. There is a reason these rights are read in the very beginning, so the other person can choose whether to speak or not. Apparently, these detectives did not understand that. So what happened when y'all were on your way home tonight? Y'all just ran into the roadblock? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wasn't, <clears throat> I wasn't there when that part happened. They just, what'd they do? When you guys ran into? Well, the guy stopped us in and then he uh, wanted us to go down the Jones Trader Park Road and I said, well, I live two houses down here on the right. He said, well, let me ask the boss about that. Oh. He went and got to the radio for a while or something and then <laughs> he said, what's your name? I said, Grant Harden. And uh, he said, can you step out of the car and and uh, then they put me in handcuffs and put me in the back of that one car. Sure, we got a pharmacy around here somewhere. I, I'm just wondering what's going on. Well, if I'm going to be charged with something or. Well, did something happen today? You know, that's what I wanted to know. I have a dentist. Well, what are you telling me? I'm silent. Or, <laughs> I know, I know. I need a. I'd rather talk about cars than anything. I know, me too. <laughs> Is there any cool cars other than the Honda Civic? Anything fancy? I'm just, um, what do you call it? The paper again. Yeah. Oh, that's great. We don't want to talk about cars. We can talk about some of them. Does that make no, sense? No, I just don't. I'm just going to run. Do you want me to go away? No, you're fine. Well, I'm a talker. You so. talk. You talk. I talk. Hey, you talk then. It's not fun to talk to yourself. Mm -hmm. You gotta enjoy your conversation with someone. I apologize, but I'm just gonna stick to my rights. Why are you here? Right. I guess that's the main question. Why are you here? Why am I here? Well, you can tell us why you're here. Do you have any idea? Why am I here? Yeah. Do you have any idea why you would be here? When you guys tell me, I will. Nobody's told me anything. I sat in that police car for a long time. Deputy's car for a long time. Yeah. Nobody told me anything. I just didn't know. Well, sometimes you gotta wonder if somebody has to tell you first. As the conversation went on, the woman slowly started bringing Harden up to talk about why he was there, trying to open him up and extracting what she could from him. You know something I'll tell. What reason y'all are asking, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of, kind of the way you have to look at it sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. That's why, you know. When Detective Chamberlain came in here, he wanted to talk to you about if you had, what you had done today, or if you had seen something happen, or witnessed something happen, or, you know, like you said, some, something happened today. It was something really bad. And if you witnessed it, then it's something we need to talk about. Because people witnessed you, so. But I want to give you the chance to talk. You know what I mean? Like, I'd rather hear your side of the story versus anything else. I feel like everybody should have that chance to tell their side, especially if something bad happened. I would want somebody to give me that chance. I just want to know what brought you to this point. I mean, I worked with you. So, like, you helped me, you know? Had my back in it in a situation, so it would be nice to understand from you, from your viewpoint why you'd be here, what happened, or did you see something happen, or were you put in a situation and kind of walk me through it. But that's your choice, right? Everybody has a choice. You have to be the one willing to put it out there. I do. I want to help you. That's the bad part. I want to help you figure it out. All I can do is sit here and say that I'll listen, work it out with you, figure it out together. But you have to be willing to talk to me about it. I'm a pretty real person. Pretty straightforward. 
I know it's uncomfortable. I know it's uncomfortable and nerve-wracking sitting in a room by yourself with people that you've worked with in the past, knowing the situation. But like I said, I wasn't there. You're the only one who can kind of fill in the blanks at this point. This feels so wrong despite the fact that Hardin was guilty. I mean, why create the rights in the first place if they were going to be ignored like that? Not only did these people ignore his rights, but they actually tried manipulating him into speaking. Truly terrifying. Listen, Grant. I think you were well aware of what happened today. I think you know why you're here. You're a smart guy. <laughs> I think you know what you what happened today. And I just really want to talk and understand so I can get on your level and figure out what the next step is going to be. And I feel like you are the type of man who wants to, who can understand that. All right, can you stand up for me? All right, go ahead and turn around the chair on your back. You can place on your wrist for capital murder. It's always refreshing to see justice served, especially when it's delivered to those who thought they could get away with anything. If you like this video, subscribe so you don't miss out on our next upload. Thanks for watching. This is Detective Mystery signing off.